So is there going to be a decline with the data science jobs with the rising trend of generative AI technology? Watch this video till the end if you are aspiring to make a career within the field of analytics or data science. So for last two to three months, I was open for interviews and I was giving multiple interviews as I was serving notice period at TCS. On this channel, I have also shared my experience with couple of interviews that I attended recently. But during this particular time, I had an unexpected situation for two to three interviews, which I'm going to discuss today. Having the fundamental knowledge and experience working with data science projects, I usually expect questions related to Python, SQL, machine learning, deep learning or NLP or computer vision every time I am appearing for an interview. However, couple of times I was also asked around my understanding with generative or regenerative AI technology and concepts like diffusion model, prompt engineering or prompt design. I was also asked around my experience building AI integrated applications. So before this time, I had some understanding that this is an emerging field of generative AI, especially due to the recent popularity of LLM models like ChatGPT or Google Bard or image generation AI models like Stable Diffusion or DALI 2 etc. And therefore, there will be some suitable job openings related to these skills. But I was not at all expecting that all these questions will be asked within an interview for a data scientist job role. By the way, let me tell you that I faced these questions belonging to these topics in only two to three interviews in all the 14 to 15 interviews that I attended recently. However, from that time onwards, I seriously started discovering and learning all these topics, mainly around generative AI itself. And finally, what I realized is that it is actually not the decline of data science jobs. In fact, it is more about the data science field evolving along with this boom of generative AI technology. And I was finally able to figure out that how these two technologies, one is data science and one being generative AI is actually intersecting each other. And you should definitely know this, especially if you're someone who is preparing for a data science career. So please make sure that you watch this particular video till the end. So let's assume a common type of use case that we usually solve within the field of data science. Let's consider a problem of customer review analysis for an instance. And now let's try to list down the step by step approach that you would usually take in order to solve the problem. So you will get started by setting up the environment and installing all the dependencies. Then you will move to the data cleaning part using the regex module, followed by feature engineering or feature selection. And then you would do the train test split model selection or model training. Next thing that you can do is the evaluation of your model performance. And lastly, app building and deployment. Obviously, that's the usual approach within the field of data science. But now imagine that how can you solve the same problem using the efficiency of an LLM model like ChatGPT. You can use its API for a simple streamlit application. And now it is no longer required to perform all the previous steps and analysis that we were listing down so far. You can simply pass on the customer review to your application and the open AI API key behind your application will do the job for you. And this method will become 20 times more efficient compared to the previous approach that we were taking. And the same logic can be applied to most of the use cases that we usually try to solve with the data science techniques. All those problems can be now solved by putting lesser time and effort by leveraging generative AI technology. So I hope that so far it makes some sense to you that why it is becoming more important to include the efficiency of generative AI within the field of data science in order to solve problems more efficiently. Now it is completely okay that a lot of you will have a lot of questions and queries in your mind and you will have questions like what exactly is generative AI? What is the meaning of a large language model or LLM? What is prompt engineering or prompt designing? How do we create an AI integrated application or what is the concept of Langchain for say? But the most important question here that you should definitely have in your mind that how exactly you need to modify your data science learning strategy in order to make sure that you don't feel left behind or outdated in order to land a job. 
and in order to answer all these questions what i have decided that in case this particular video gets a good response i will in fact start a dedicated playlist where i am going to answer all these questions by creating dedicated tutorials so make sure that you show your support by dropping a like below subscribe to the channel and also share the video with your peers and i promise you that i will be uploading multiple videos and tutorials based on llm models concepts like prompt engineering or prompt designing or concepts like langchain although the demand for this particular field is increasing rapidly but there is very limited content or material available on internet related to generative ai learning so this could be a very good time to get started so that you can have the edge compared to your other peers for the time being what you need to understand is around 4 to 5 years back in order to make a move towards the data science field the basic skills which was required was mainly around python sql machine learning and maybe you can say deep learning or computer vision as well later on more skill stack got added to the curriculum like docker kubernetes app building abilities and the ability to deploy your app as well and later on the understanding of cloud computing services for analytics and data science also became really important and this is where the ml ops concept also came into the picture and since data science is an ever evolving field currently the field of generative ai is getting merged with the data science curriculum it is not yet done completely but it is already on the go but i would say the fun part over here is that once you learn how to leverage the efficiency of generative ai into your data science skill set the dependency or need of mathematics knowledge as a prerequisite is now decreasing so earlier as you already know that you were responsible to develop your model to train your model and for that before you choose any model be it a simple linear regression logistic regression svm or any bagging or boosting algorithm model there was a prerequisite of mathematics knowledge very essentially required it was must to know the topics like linear algebra matrix vectors integral calculus etc but going ahead in future i can say one thing that this dependency on the mathematics side is going to be decreased so even people who are not very strong or who did not have a very good mathematics background can still feel free or comfortable to make a move towards the data science field so i hope that with the help of this particular video i was able to bring some awareness to you related to the emerging field of generative ai and its involvement with the data science curriculum please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you would like to keep watching this kind of content and tutorials my name is vikash and hopefully i will see you in the next video